since the party in June. Here we are, back at the Hollywood Forever. Guys, it's the most beautiful cemetery I've ever been in in my life, in all over the world. I think it's absolutely the most Hollywood theatrical cemetery in the world. When we saw the lake and the island, it was just a, a, a beautiful setting, like no other place we'd had been. And then we stood on this ground. There, there was nothing here at the time. We looked at this space. And we saw the Hollywood sign. We looked towards the setting sun. And we looked at the, the clock memorial on, on its island, and the ducks and the swans and the palm trees and and said this is it It was a complete ruin. It was waist-high grass. Buildings were falling apart. Only three people worked here. And uh, uh, my friend Tyler came down and looked at it first. He called me, said, come down and look at this place. I walked through it with him. I said, you know, I don't know anything about cemeteries, but this place is incredible. So we stayed up all night drawing out plans for what to do with the cemetery. And we bought it for $375,000. I guess we were the only ones who really saw the potential that the property had. It's an amazing statue. I'm, uh, what I'm most excited about is that they did such a great monument. That's what's more important to me. That's something that's, you know, unique to Hollywood forever. People are gonna to come to that statue and they're gonna pay tribute to it. And kids are gonna go, hey, who's that cool looking guy over there, mom, with the uh, guitar and the leather jacket and the funny haircut? I wanna be that guy. his lease ended and Père Lachaise was maybe gonna uh, kick him out or whatever they didn't know what to do with him we had made some plans to try to bring him here this is where he should be uh, this is one of our forever uh, consoles where a family can come and uh, explore biographies look at the biography of their loved one or others Okay. 
my friend Tyler found an audio tape of his grandmother telling a story. And when he, he was going through some old tapes, and when he found the tape, uh, this was three years after she had passed away. And he was immediately moved, of course, because nobody had heard her voice for three years, and suddenly her voice is coming out of this little tape recorder. as far as delivery time or quality and so forth. And uh, I think if you go on to some funeral home and so forth, and uh, you have to believe in the product, and then when you transfer that belief to the family, they're gonna want the product as well. And it's only, they see that number, $295 per hour. Everybody can do that. And you can just start with every single family, and you'll be, you'll be making money and you'll be developing this. day for a funeral. I'm eager to see the, the final product. This is the most unusual event I've ever seen. It was just incredible. It was just a perfect setting. It was the most gorgeous day of the year here. And I had a hundred guests out here seated. And this was all draped in silk with purple sashes. Attention! Bernardo and I dedicate this monument so that future generations will know we proudly, proudly walk this earth with a lifetime of love and commitment for each other. And that's it. I think this is a wonderful that's idea. A great idea to celebrate one's life before it's over. I said Absolutely. Rather enjoy it now than later. It was just a wonderful, wonderful, exciting experience. Now we only have to look forward to a day that we won't remember. Our remains will go in here along with my son, Cristal. And Cristal was the name of our beautiful Persian cat. He calls it his son. And we lost him during the period of building that we wanted to also make sure that his uh, memory was uh, enshrined. It's gonna be my final home. And yours too. But Bernard, as Bernardo would say, he hopes he's not on the bottom. I'm not gonna be on the bottom. <laughs> Definitely gonna be on the top. In any event, we end up right here. Here. In Hollywood.